What's going on, ballers? Thanks so much for tuning in again. Welcome back to another Big J Basketball box break video. It's Monday, which means Monday mail day again, another big stack of stuff. Uh, and this Monday mail day is a little special, uh, different than the other ones. This last package we're going to open is a 502 Frank Fire Pack, which probably a lot of you guys who watch this channel also watch 502 Frank's channel. He puts these fire packs together with graded cards and other kinds of cool stuff. Uh, I think this one is just one card per uh, per fire pack. I know he has some other uh, mystery boxes and things with some additional stuff, but there should be a mystery, uh, I think, a graded card in here. So we'll save this one for last to see what's in it. Uh, and until then, we got a bunch of other mail to go through. So let's uh, start and uh, going through that. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click that bell for notifications. So you get notified whenever we post new videos, which is pretty much all the time. Getting closer and closer to 2,500 subscribers already. We've, we've crossed the 2,300 barrier and we're gaining these subscribers every day and moving and moving towards that 2,500 goal. Uh, so we'll do a, a giveaway at 2,500 and then another bigger giveaway at 3,000. So there's definitely some good giveaways coming up. So stay tuned for all that stuff. Um, and you got to be a subscriber of the channel to get in on that. Uh, first package here is from Sage the Collector. Again, a lot of you guys who watch my channel, chances are you might watch his as well. Uh, he had a package sent to me and I didn't even know it was coming. So this is a com complete surprise. So let's see what we, what we got in here. All right, nothing special. A few cards that belong to me. So let's see, let's see what belongs with me. I see morning already on the back and on the front, digging that already. You guys know that's my main guy. So we got a All-Star Recruits. Oh, and some Ginobili as well. Hoops Ginobili, Donruss Ginobili. I don't have this one, I know for sure. Hall Kings, Morning, don't have this, don't have this. Awesome stuff. Morning versus Ewing. Lots of cool stuff to add to my Morning. And, uh, ooh, this is a really cool card. Electric Court, I think this is a, this is a parallel, Electric Court Parallel. So the base card uh, from this year looks like this. And they had these parallels of where it says electric court. I think there's an electric court silver and electric court gold. I think the golds are pretty rare, but this is still another really cool card that I don't have. Ginobili from 1718 Essentials. And ooh, that's a swirl of Rama parallel. Awesome. This is one of my kind of uh, favorite sets that I didn't really open a lot of on the channel. Um, I did open a hobby box of this and I pulled a one of one Shaq Auto, which should be coming back from PSA any day now. So stay tuned for that. But I always like to look at this set. Um, so this is really cool to have these two Ginobili's and another morning from the same set and another morning from Court Kings, Points in the Paint. Court Kings is another really awesome set that doesn't quite get enough love, but very cool card from Court Kings. So Sage the Collector, thank you so much. Definitely much appreciated. All these cards will be staying in my PC for sure. Very cool to get all those. All right, let's see what we got next. This is just a regular envelope, should not be hard to open. There we go. <laughs> uh, I think there's just some cheap stuff in here. Yeah, so we got some morning. Uh, this is from 96, ooh, geez. All right, let's get those out of here. They're both in the same sleeve, so I'll just leave these up later. 96, 97, Flare Showcase. There we go. So we got the row one and row two base cards. The leg, I actually have the Legacy Collection from this uh, row two, but not row one yet. Let me just double check, yeah, so this is the row one on the back, and here's row two. Uh, got both of these for 99 cents total. Uh, so not super rare, but very cool looking cards and happy to pick those up for only 99 cents. So add that to the PC. Uh, this next one here was another really cheap pickup. Sometimes people put cards up for 99 cent auctions and you get lucky and nobody else bids. And that's what happened on this one as well. No, it's not a Will Flores Tops Chrome. Looks like those are filler cards, but we got a Ginobili first year optic. So 2016, uh, I hate it when that tape rips like that. 
want to get a better look at the card. There we go. So 2016-17, Donruss Optic. This was the inaugural year for Optic, and these cards started getting really expensive really quickly. So I wasn't buying any when they were sort of hyped beyond control. Uh, but again, 99 cent auction, no one else bid on it. So I threw 99 cents and ended up winning uh, Ginobili Hollow from first year Optic. So pretty cool, happy to add that one to the PC. And right after I grabbed that one, I saw this one go up for sale. And I, did, I didn't get it for quite 99 cents. I think I, it was like maybe three bucks or something. But this is the orange uh, Hollow, which this was a hobby exclusive. And that one is numbered to 199 so between the 99 cents for this one and the couple bucks for this one you know not a uh, not bad to get those two cards for even including shipping like under 10 bucks okay let's see what we got next here i think now we're getting into some more uh some cooler rarer stuff with the rest of the mail days so let's see what's in what's in this package here All right, we got another Ginobili Topps Finest Jersey card. Um, that's why I put the X-Fractor here on the back. So there's a lot of parallels of this card in this uh, 0405 Finest set. So this was the X-Fractor number 25. And then this one I got super cheap. Again, I think just a couple bucks. It's not a refractor, it's just a base card with the single color of Jersey, but that one's numbered to 299. And I think I just paid a couple bucks for that. So, and actually I think I have another one of those <laughs> on the way pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. Coming at some point. All right. And this next one, okay, I think I know what this is and I'm super excited to show this one off. So right here we got a Ginobili Rookie Clear Ultra Gold Medallion die cut. So you can see it's kind of die cut here at the top and here at the bottom as well. So here's the base Fleer Ultra with the silver foil. This one has the gold foil and says gold medallion. The base is uh, not numbered. Gold medallion, serial numbered out of 100. This is 12 out of 100. This is a card that hardly ever comes up for sale. Um, again, got super lucky that someone put it up with uh, no reserve. Um, I think it was like a 99 cent starting bid again. Uh, the last time I saw this one sold was a couple months ago and it went for over $120 and I got this for 68 bucks. And who knows when this is even ever gonna come up for sale again. You know, these rookies from the early 2000s, a lot of these are locked up in private collections, uh, uh, personal collections at this point, I'm sure. So not very often do you see these come up. Uh, like I said, that one a couple months ago was the only time I've seen one sell. Haven't some haven't seen any come up for sale uh, before or since. So super excited that I got this and I got it for way cheaper than I thought I was going to. I thought I'd for sure be paying over a hundred bucks for this, but to get it for 68 is a huge, huge, huge win in my book. So very excited. One of the rarer uh, Ginobili rookies that I have in my PC now. Okay, let's see where I can open this one from. There we go. All right. And there it is. It's, it's really wrapped with tape all over it. Uh, not sure I want to try and spend all the time to rip this open and pull it out now. Um, this is a Kobe Bryant from, I think it's 97, 98. EX 2001. So this is the second year that uh, EX was out. It's an insert called Gravity Denied. Um, and maybe I will try and, and cut this open because I want to show everyone what, what this insert looks like. There we go. So I will try and carefully pull it out of here. So it's a really cool looking die cut insert and I'm not sure I want to mess with it too much but it has a little cool feature there that it sort of slides up and slides back down probably not something you want to be doing if you want to grade this this one isn't in the greatest condition so I probably won't be grading it um, 
But again, seems like a lot of Kobe's rarer. Uh, this isn't that rare of a card, but his all of his inserts from uh, both uh, 96, 97, and 97, 98 EX. So the EX 2000 and the EX 2001. All these inserts seem to be going up in price a lot. So I wanted to grab this one before it started increasing kind of out of my reach like a lot of those inserts have have done. So I think I paid about 100 bucks for this. Uh, again, not the best condition, not planning on grading it, um, but I would anticipate prices on this are gonna spike like they have on a lot of other uh, cool Kobe inserts. So really cool one, definitely a unique card. Uh, you don't see stuff like that uh, too often. Okay, all uh, right, last package. We got our 502 Frank Fire Pack. So let's see if we can maybe do a slow roll on this one. I think these packs were $99, which included shipping. Okay, and it is, there you go. There's the Fire Pack. Okay, so we will cut this open. And then I'll try and slow roll this out to see what we got. Okay, it does look like a graded card. Uh, oh, that's the bottom. Hmm. Let me uh, <laughs> let me cut the top here, and I'll pull it out from the other side, so we can kind of tease what we might be getting here. Okay, PSA graded. Ooh, Jamal Murray Gold Wave PSA 10. Very cool card. I don't know what, these aren't numbered. I don't know exactly what the print run is on these, but I believe they were 10 or less, if I'm not mistaken. This one's PSA 10. I'll have to check the pop reports later, but I can't imagine there's a lot of these PSA 10s uh, floating around out there. So very awesome card. Very, very cool. Jamal Murray Gold Wave. Um, this came from the, I think the, Contenders Optic T-Mall box, which I actually did open one of these uh, a while ago, and I it was a pretty bad box. I didn't get any gold waves, didn't get any autos or uh, any nice rookies or anything. So very cool to make up for it uh, with this, this Jamal Murray gold wave. Okay, and that's your 502 Frank Fire Pack along with the rest of the mail day. Um, stay tuned for more stuff coming this week. Let me know what you guys thought of this video uh, about the Fire Pack and the other mail day things. Um, and coming probably tomorrow, we got our collectible card club. So stay tuned for that. And then we'll have more stuff coming later in the week. So plenty of videos to come. And thanks for watching this one. I'll see you guys on the next one.